hello out there and this is Daps and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to be showing you two things and the first would be that you install wordpress manually on your pc and the second thing that you'll be learning also is how to migrate anything you design on your local pc to an actual live website for some reasons i know that people would need people would want to know how to install wordpress on their pc whatever pc you're using maybe windows or a mac the major reason why i know people really would want to know how to install wordpress on their pc is for tutorial purpose you want to master wordpress so you want to learn wordpress from time to time you don't always want to always have to go online and use the internet connection for you to practice and after installing designing a website locally you would want to now move to a live website i would be showing you how to get that done in simple easy steps in this video let's get it started okay right about now we're gonna go to our browser here and search for a software called bitnami bitnami wordpress so we're going to be opening this upon landing here you would see that this software we allow us deploy wordpress i will have to choose this option here by the fire right which would be that i want to install wordpress on my computer and also on my window mac or linux system and once we identify with this we can then come down and choose and then choose whichever system you are using if you are using a windows definitely you go for this if you are using a mac or linux as the case will be since i'm using a windows i'll be downloading for windows you see we can just say no take me to the download immediately ideally right now the hub is supposed to be downloading but for some reasons if you can't see download despite being here what you will just do is just to come down here and click here once you click here then definitely we should have this software downloading on your system okay i'll save this yes now i've got bitnami wordpress 5.1 installing on my system awesome we have this downloaded and we have to definitely see and install this software and this is the software we just installed and i'm going to be launching this software so most definitely our language is english language from here okay we've got this set up and we're going to go to the next button and of course yes we're going to go to the next button as well I want to create an account for our wordpress use a password you're very comfortable with and one you can always remember that's very very important and then i hit the next button then the name of our blog or our website i'll just call it dabs tutorial wordpress mastery Then I'll use my Gmail account definitely for my SMTP settings. So I'll be putting in right now a Gmail account and also the password for my SMTP settings. So just use any Gmail account that you prefer. So I hit the next button. Launch WordPress in cloud with Bitnami. Yes yeah ready to install so let's hit the next button and yet and now we have wordpress installing on our system okay so we have windows defender firewall as blocks and features here so well i want to click a 
private network and I want to also give access okay we've got this done let's finish okay awesome WordPress is now installed and there's a place for access WordPress here so we're gonna be clicking this we already have our website live and this is the URL here you notice we have 127.0.0.1 but again we can just do away with this number and just type in local host and then load this you would see that this URL will still load this page so for us to easily access this WordPress just type in localhost slash WordPress you will get here and now what we are going to do right now is to go to the back end of this website and usually does always wp admin or wp login so let's do wp admin all right so i'll be logging into my back end right now like i did told you make sure you remember your login details okay so this is a newly freshly installed wordpress and you have access now to practice to do whatever you want to do with wordpress now on your local pc so if you just load url local o slash wordpress on your whichever browser you are using on your system you should be able to access the site for the sake of this tutorial i just want to upload the theme here and let's make the site look quite very professional after that we can take it one step ahead uh, that's going into migrating this website to a live website so now let me go to appearance and themes let's add new and uh, let's upload so here is the theme i want to install so i'll open this and then i can install and then i can activate so i'll be running the wizard I'll start. So the wizard right now is installing necessary plugins. Now this is done, so let's check out our website. We can just hit the button here to view our website, but since I have it opened in another tab, so let me refresh to see exactly what we got. Oh, fantastic we have typology installed I kind of like this theme for a blog all right so now we're done with step one okay so this was exactly where I left off from until Bitnami launched another browser entirely but right now I have also installed a demo wordpress site here and this is live this wordpress is loading adapts wptest.ml so i'll be i'll be migrating our local team our local wordpress here uh in case you don't know how to install wordpress or design your own website yourself on a live website i would advise that you check the description below you see a link that will take you to this this site here this site is one of my platform where i use to teach people how to design website we give you step-by-step -step tutorial everything you need to 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 get yourself designing a website is here the tools you need and everything you need whatsoever so here you will see that it's it's just very easy for you to design your website in four si simple steps if you don't know exactly what to do you can click here to watch a video and you also see a link by the far right hand corner also to watch a video so you can come here you can search for your domain name and check the availability uh, once you are done you eat here to register hosting account and a free domain name and the third one definitely will be that you install a wordpress theme you can check any of the themes here i've got lots of themes and you can still browse all the themes i have here and the fourth one will just be for you to install the demo content on wordpress basically and 
congratulations your site is live so you can just click here to watch the video the video will be step by step guide showing you exactly how to install wordpress and how to just get some very very good themes for you to make your website look beautiful so basically check the description below if you don't know how to get that done but i have been able to install wordpress here so what i'll be doing right now is installing a plugin i'll be installing that plugin both on my life and on my local wordpress so uh, this is the back end of this wordpress so i'll come to plugins i'll hard new so i'll search for a plugin called all in one it's supposed to be all in one migration but i should be able to see it without typing migration okay so that's the plugin here all in one migration so i'll be installing this plugin i'll also be activating it as well so adding back to uh locally installed wordpress so i'll come to the back end as again i'll return to dashboard i'll come to plugins i'll hard new so i'll be searching for a plugin all in one as well so i would hit the install button okay fantastic we have all in one wp migration installed on both sides so you will see that by the left hand panel we will see all in one migration and what we are going to be doing here on our local website is to click the export option so we have the option to export to choose where we want to export to you can choose to export to ftp to dropbox to google drive whatever but i want to export this to my file okay now we've got this done and we can choose to download local host downloading is done okay so here we'll come to all in one wp migration and we hit the import button and now i have the option to import from whatever i want to import from or also drag the file here okay so right now we would be stuck if you want to do our import because if you check my maximum upload file size is 20 mb and and that's not enough to do the import successfully if we try to import it right now we will get error well if you are using an hosting provider that allows you that give you capacity then you can you can you can continue the next thing you will do is that you see a link below that says how to increase maximum upload file size click that and it will open in a new tab okay in here are several options that you can try but if you are using an hosting provider that gives you limit on your upload file size limit then all this might not work for you your dot htsls file updating your dot htsls file might not work but one one trick that i know that work more is for you to use this option for that says use a plugin and if you click this it will bring you down to another page here where you have a basic and a premium just download this free one and this is installed here already so we come back to our site we come to plugin add new we click the upload plugin and i'll be dragging the plugin from my pc then i'll be installing this plugin is installed we have to activate okay we have this plugin only one migration file extension activated if you if we go to only one wp migration now and click the import button somehow our 20 mb is gone and we are seeing something like three kilobytes here or whatever just ignore whatever is written here and just click the import from now let's go to file so here is a local host wordpress file let's open and let's get it imported okay so after about 30 minutes of waiting i got this file uploaded and we've got a warning here it says the import process will variate your website including database media themes and all of that and the next thing for us to do right now is to hit the proceed button and now what 
this plugin is doing now is that it's restoring the file to override everything we have on our website initially and now this is done so let's hit the finish button and what we will do right now is to come here and visit open our site in a new tab and we see dabs wp test so bingo dabs wp test ml now is loading the same site we have on our local host uh, we can see that all the pages are intact now let's confirm that this same page we have here is the same one we have on our local host okay so this is our local host right now and i think it's the same thing quite very accurate so this is exactly how to install wordpress on your pc and also migrate it to a live site thank you very much for staying through watching this video i'm so excited you did if you feel this video is useful if you find this video very useful kindly give me a thumbs up i appreciate that and above all subscribe to my youtube channel and also hit the notification bell because that's the only way you'll be notified when i post more awesome videos like this i'm sincerely hoping to see you in my next video and until then have a nice time